In this video, I'm going to show you a full example solve using the Yao method. So in this video, I'm going to show you one full example solve using the Yao method, and I'm going to assume that you're fairly new to the Yao method and you're still kind of figuring it out and finding your feet using this new method. So let's start out by solving the opposite centers. So here I'm going to solve the yellow center first onto the bottom. So doing an R prime solves these two, and then do a D and then solve these two pieces. So we can match these two up, U prime, and then bring those down. Um, I did notice we have this white centerpiece on the back, so we can put it into the top layer by doing something like this, R prime, U prime, R, like that. And then I'm going to solve the last, last two centerpieces onto the white. So now we've solved the two opposite centers, it's time to rotate the cube and start solving some edges. The first two cross edges that I see are the white and blue ones, so here we can do something like this. So doing an R, U, R prime pairs these two up, and then doing a D prime like that puts it into our cross layer. And the next thing that I see is quite easy as well. So we've got this white and orange pair. So the white and orange edge here and the white and orange edge here, which if you know your color scheme well, the orange edge belongs above the blue edge. Uh, so we can pair them up like so. So this one with that one. So again, wide R places these two across from one another, U prime, and then wide R prime matches them up, then do a U. And for our last cross edge, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do just yet. So I've got this one here, this red one here. I think it's probably easier to rotate that way and do these two red ones, noticing that this red uh, edge piece is already in its correct position. So to insert this one, I can do something similar to what I did before, but in kind of in the reverse way. So doing an R prime brings these two across from one another, U, R, U prime, like that. And now I've solved three cross edges, it's time for me to solve the last four centers. Alrighty, so I've got these two orange center pieces here. What I'm actually going to do is do a 3R, so a really wide R, and do a U, and do a wide R prime like that. And then actually I'll put it on the bottom, so that now all we need to do is put these two uh, center pieces onto this bottom right position. What we can do here is do a U R prime to pair these two up, then to insert these two into the bottom, remembering to keep our thumb on the front and these two fingers on the back, we can do a wide R, U, and then a slice R prime like that, so to finish off that center. And then above the orange center belongs the green center. So actually we've got these two diagonally across from one another, but also what I saw was this other green, set, uh, green center piece was at the bottom here, and I want to insert this into the top layer uh, without and moving the positions without without bringing these two out of the top layer as well. Um, and an easy way to do this is just if they're positioned like so, so this one's down here, it'll come up to this position when I do an R2, then all I need to do in order to replace these two uh, orange center pieces is do a U prime and then do an R2 like that. And remember when I did a U prime I wasn't messing up any of these cross pieces either. So now I've got these three on the top, I can bring them down to the front by doing a wide R prime like that, and then insert this last center piece by doing a slice R, U prime, R prime, like that. Now I'm going to put these on the bottom, and remembering that our, our orange center is on the back here, so with the, the greens on the bottom, the orange on the back, what we're going to do is solve the blue onto the top and the red onto the front. So to solve these last two, what I can do is U, R, U prime, R prime to make these three, and then do an R, wide R like that, R prime to pair these two up, U prime R, like so. And now we've solved our entire, uh, the first three cross edges as well as our four centers. So now what we can do is align our cross and then solve our, solve our last cross edge. So here we can do something like this, so we've got this white and green one and this white and green one, so we can put them into the middle layers, the middle two layers, slice, take them out, slice back, and then insert this cross edge down here. Now it's time to solve our last eight edges, so we'll do our slice U move, our wide U move, and look for the corresponding green and red edge piece. And this one's quite tricky to find, it's actually in the back left here. So what we can do is take it out by doing an L U L prime, move it from here down to here by doing R U R prime, and then continue on. 
<clears throat> so we've got this uh, yellow and red one here. We can rotate, find the other yellow and red one, put it into the bottom right position like so. And then the only one remaining to do is this blue and orange. So we need to find the blue and orange edge piece. Uh, in this situation, there actually is no blue and orange edge piece over here in the top layer. Uh, the blue and orange edge piece is actually sitting over here next to this initial red and green one. So what we can do now is just slice back and we've solved these two. And we know that when we slice back, this orange, blue and orange one will go over here and this blue and orange one is down here. So I guess we can just continue on. So we didn't solve three edge pairs at the start um, as per the 3 2 3 edge method. But instead what we're going to do is just continue on um, and not worry too much about that. So now we can solve these two by doing a slice move, noticing that when we did a slice move, it moved this yellow and green edge out of the way to the back here. So to solve the next two edge pieces, the next edge pair, sorry, we can move this yellow and green one to the bottom like that. Um, now we have four edge pieces remaining, which is, it's not a great case. Um, I guess what we can do next is move this uh, green and orange one down to the bottom right to match up with this green and orange one. So then when we do a slice, they get paired up together. And then noticing that we've got this yellow and orange, uh, we can move its yellow and orange partner down here by doing F R prime F prime R like that. Then when we slice back, these two are solved. And we only have two edge pieces left that we need to solve. So we've got um, this yellow and blue and the red and blue. So we can insert them opposite from one another and just do our simple edge flipping algorithm. So slice R U R prime F R prime F prime R and then slice back. And now we've solved all of our eight edges. And in that case, yeah, we didn't do three, two, three. It was more, it was, there was far more two pairing involved uh, for those particular edges. So what we can do now is finish off our three by three stage. So we've got this pair at the back, bring it to the front, solve these two, solve these two. And excuse me if I'm going a little bit quickly on the three by three stage, um, I think for the most part, these tutorials are going to be just for four by four. I'm not going to teach, you know, F to L uh, throughout them. And now we have OLL parity. So we'll execute our OLL parity algorithm. I'm going to show you how to do this quickly. Like that. So those are the kind of the finger tricks that I use. And I'll slow down the video right now and show you a slow motion version of that. Now we've got OLL and finally PLL. And there we go. 